This violin made by Michael Griffin in uh, 2019, so it's just recently made. It's a copy of the 1713 uh, Hubermann Strad. It's not antiqued as we like to have instruments nowadays. We like to see them old, but rather it's the way it came out of Stradivarius's own hands back in 1713. So I, when it first came out and it wasn't used, it looked like this. Of course, over 200, almost 300 years, uh, of course, things happen, little accidents, this, the other. And so they have to refurbish, I guess, the instrument, retouch the instrument. And many times they look a little uh, worn out. Now, however, the Strad of th that time, 1713, this was the basically the color of, the, of his instruments, an orange rather than a red. And uh, uh, it's from his golden period, uh, which was from about 1705, uh, around there, maybe 1710, and went for, I don't know, about a decade, maybe a little more. Uh, and as we know, he died in 1737, at the ripe old age of 93, I think it was. Uh, and still making instruments until he passed away, even though his sons helped him. Anyway, I tried this instrument a few months ago, and I'm sure there have been some adjustments on this one. This particular instrument has a, um, a, a sound post which is not wood, as it, the tradition has it. This is a, a carbon fiber uh, uh, sound post, which is actually adjustable in height, tension, and many other things. And the feet actually are rubber, if I remember right. I'm trying to look in here, and I cannot really see very, very well. Yes, they have rubber. And it has a special tool to put it in and to actually adjust the, the, the height. Of, of the of the post so it's something new on the market and uh, I'm looking forward because I think when I played it originally it had uh, uh, the regular post so I'm gonna try this Before I continue, I wanted to say that as I got up on the two upper strings, the A and the E, 
it got a little soft in sound, but never losing the beauty of it. Uh, that can be fixed with vi very little minor adjustments. If, you, if the, the actual owner who wants to buy it, the actual person who wants to buy it, so desires. I happen to like it the way it is because it gives it this little soft. It's not that it's uneven. It's not uneven so far. I haven't, what I've played so far, every note is completely even. It's just a little soft. It just changes the, the color, if you, if you will. I'm gonna play now just a regular scale or something. I don't know, we'll figure something. It's absolutely even. As I said, a couple of little things in the in the middle and the upper strings in the middle part, and it's not that it's softer or completely out of adjustment. It's just a sweet sound. Suddenly, one of those of two or three notes on each. By the way, this fiddle is a two-piece back, and uh, as I see it, it looks like the ribs and the scroll come from the same block. So they actually match absolutely beautif beautifully. Um, and as I said, this is the way that it came out from Strad's hand back in 1713 before all the minor accidents and cracks that had to be done and who knows what else can happen to it. Uh, uh, Small accident, sometimes major accident. I really do not know what the Huberman 1713 Stradivarius truly, look, truly looks like. Uh, and I don't know if there are any major cracks. Probably not. The, uh, if, if it belonged to, to Huberman, I'm sure he followed the history before him and to make sure that there wasn't any major problems with it. So it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful instrument to look at, beautiful instrument to listen to, beautiful instrument to play. So whoever decides to get it, you're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> 